party right here on Monday, That's October right. 31st on GMT. You'll have to see what we're going to dress up as. I don't know yet. Alana's doing it, so it's whatever she decides. It's a surprise for everyone. Good morning, Texas. Home and Wealth. Sponsored by Rodney Anderson with Supreme Lending. Okay, if you're thinking about refinancing, now is the time to take the leap and put some money back in your pocket. Our mortgage expert, Rodney Anderson, is here with what I see is really incredible news here, Rodney. Uh, you've seen homeowners, and they put money back in their pockets, and you called it the refi revolution. Yes. But you said there's another step, a next step. Yeah, it's called the refinance redo, and we're seeing a lot of people jump in and doing this. Maybe they took out a mortgage in 2014, and their rate was four and a half, four and three quarters, and now they're refinancing. Most importantly, what a lot of people are doing, Shannon, is they're moving up from like a 30-year loan to a 15-year loan because maybe the kids have left and they no longer have that that payment for the children on car loans, student loans, or something like that. But most importantly, people are refinancing a lot right now to get rid of MIP or PMI, that's mortgage insurance, right. because values have exploded and you may not need the mortgage insurance anymore. Why pay for something you don't need? Okay, now some people have already refinanced, but are they eligible to do it again? Yes, most of the time people are eligible to do it again. A lot of it, it depends on the equity in your home, but most importantly, it depends on your credit. You have to have good to excellent mm -hmm. credit to refinance finance but I've seen people for example I saw somebody refinance to a cash out refinance a year and a half ago their home value has still exploded but during the cash out they were only able to pay off part of their credit card debt now they're able to refinance again and pay off all the rest of their credit card debt so this is what I call the refinance redo redo okay speaking of redo rule of thumbs I know you have a few rule of thumbs and how to do this how to make this work yeah normally your rate has to drop it depends on how much you owe but if you owe about two hundred thousand dollars normally your rate has to drop at least one to one and a quarter percent to make it worth it but there are other opportunities maybe you have a first and second mortgage that that second mortgage is at a higher rate and you want to combine them together maybe you're trying to do a cash out refinance to pay off the credit card debt do home improvements so one thing I tell people we don't want to see this used as a piggy bank okay you don't want to be a refinance finance junkie. You want to have a passion and a purpose. What is the purpose and does it make sense? Because lenders out there all the time will try to talk people into something that's not good for them because they want to make the money. I have a little bit different approach where we want to do what's right for you because if it's not worth it for you, we just tell people every single day, hey, it's not worth it. You're at a great place. Stay where you are. Okay, to make sure you don't become a junkie, what are some of the pitfalls people need to look out for? For. Yeah, you got to watch pain points. It's one of the worst things that people can do on a refinance. Everybody just wants to click on the lowest rate versus how long am I going to break even on my closing costs and how long am I going to stay in the property? Number two, does it physically and does it mentally and most importantly, does it financially make sense for me? I want to make sure that this makes complete sense for you because the last thing you want to do, be planning on moving in a year, you're paying closing costs and and then all of a sudden you're sitting there and it's costing you more than you're really going to make. Okay, real quick, I know you've given us some good examples. Give us one more example of a refi redo. Yeah, a refi redo would be somebody that, I'll give you a perfect example. A gentleman called the other day and he was at 4.875 on his mortgage. He was originally at 7%. Mm -hmm. Now he's at 4.875 and he's still paying mortgage insurance on his loan. His value has exploded. He lives in Allen. Now he no longer has to pay the mortgage uh, insurance and he can drop his interest rate. That's a refinance redo. That's saving serious money. All right, Rodney, you've heard it. You can do a refi redo. You can call Rodney at 1-800-EXPRESS or go to RodneyAnderson.com for more information on taking advantage of a refi redo.